Fish on. There he is. This is an animal. Let me get the anchor undone. Oh, nice sized fish. He's around a piling. Um, watch out for this current. Through the middle of those? Yes. Hang on. Straight down. Hopefully he's gonna go out under this. for the weak-hearted boatsman. Nice! Hang on. Under the bridge. Insane, man. I love it. As you can see, we are just weaving in and out from underneath this bridge, and all we're doing is following this fish. Power Pro got wrapped around a couple times, and he zipped right through it. Normally, I talk a lot, but <sighs> normally I'm not shy of talking at all. But this fish is making me pay attention. See if you can lead him through the bridge, Mark. That'd be great if we can get on the other side of this. Back this way? Yeah, he's back under the boat. Talk to me. Back under the boat right now. All right. Let's see what he's doing. What side of pilot is he on? Oh! Good job, Mr. Nichols. <laughs> That's a nice fish, huh? Hey, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. Nibble? Yeah. All right, I'll keep casting. Yeah, get down to business. One more Mr. Nice Guy. Cross your eyeballs. So, Maring, how does one figure out? I don't even see any guides around here doing what we're doing. How'd you figure out how to do this? Jerry was fishing in the middle of the summertime. It was really hot. He and Gloria came, dropped anchor in the shade over here and started uh, making a sandwich. He put a rod in a rod holder with a terrorized behind it just to have something to do. And uh, sure enough, tarp jumped a tarp and he jumped three tarp and just trying to make sandwiches. So, <laughs> so uh, that's the way we figured it out, that bait just sitting there hovering in that tide and those fish, you know, or they're mid-range fish, they're doing the same thing hovering. They can just come up behind it, suck it in and you just let it swing in that tide. And usually they're eating it almost directly down tide or pretty darn near. Fish on. God, don't you. I don't know what this is. It hasn't come up yet. Hang on. Drag, let him up, let him up. Back through. What was that? 
Carpin. That was him. Okay. Perfect job. Woo! Hey, we ain't touch this one. <laughs> he ain't quite as grown as them other ones were. Woo! And through the maze. You want to head up front now? Yeah. Let's try and swing steering better. Okay, on. I'll let him pull me up here. Go on up front, so I can steer better. Okay. There we go. That's a baby. <laughs> we might be able to hang on to him. <laughs> I was due for a baby. Well, folks, we told you we'd get, we'd get you onto the boat. Hey, you're really speaking soon, aren't you? <laughs> and I cast three feet away from it. I feel bad about that, too. Sir, he's about ready. Come here, guy. Nice little fish. That's about a quarter of the size of the other ones we've been thumping. I'm glad. A quarter? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, open up for me. Look at that. It's right in the top of his head. Yeah, that seems to be a the location. It thumps them. On the brown dog. Hey, baby. Nice job. Beauty. Nice job, Captain. Hopping. Amarada. He ain't a giant one, but he'll do. Beautiful. Nice little herring, huh? <laughs> <laughs> really. So, there he goes now. Ouch. Nice release. Uh, they don't cut, do they? Good job, sir. Good job. No, they don't cut. Good I'm job, fine. Captain. That's from them lobsters a couple months ago, though. I want to show you what we were using out there today. It's one I use a lot. It's the brown root beer colored DOA terrorize. It's got the gold fleck in it. And all we're doing is just tossing it out there and letting it sit. It is so simple to do. You let it sit. And after Mark told me not to twitch the rod tip a little bit, which I'm always used to twitching that rod tip with a jig, but you just let it sit there in the current and it just sits there dead in the water. And they come up and eat it. Using 20 pound test power pro, got a 60 pound test fluorocarbon leader, using a Fenor 4000 reel. And I uh, got the drag set down pretty tight on them. Cape Fear Rod, Hextech Technology, whip them poons butts today. And the knot that we tie on these terror eyes is the Merle Chandler Canoe Man knot, the one I like tying so much because it's so simple to tie. You take and stick your line through the eye of the hook, make one rabbit ear, make another rabbit ear, take your one in your right hand, stick it through the one in your left hand, and when your tag in here is still through the eye of the hook, Go back through the, the loop that you stuck through the other hole. And you got a perfectly rigged terrorize. Trim that tag end up a little bit, and you're ready to go. And there's your bait check for the day. Now get out and catch a fish, would you? Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, bank shot off the wall. That's the way those terrorize lose their eyeballs. Those guides have to be going, what are they doing? <laughs> to think, you know. Hey, what are they doing over there? Catching fish. Catching fish. <laughs> <laughs> you don't... Ain't a big one. Hang on, no, it ain't a poon. Huh? Yeah, it is. Hello. Yeah, it is. Go. Talk to 
me. He's through. He's already through. Is he? Yeah. He's through. All right, you keep catching. That one, through that one. Your engine's dead. Your engine's dead. Talk to me. How do I get this Hold thing out of gear? I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know either. Ah, oh, Anchor ropes in the engine. Fish. I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna explain. Go, Leon. We're gonna explain what happened here. Mark was driving. We turned around and somehow we got the anchor rope <laughs> caught on the motor. And luckily, Cam Leon Davis was here being on a camera boat today. I was able to come over and. <laughs> A grown one. Come on, baby. That is the neatest thing. If y'all ever get the chance to do this, come here. It's easy. You don't need live bait. We jump. I've seen us jump more fish today than any other boat around us using live bait. And all we're doing is just taking the terrorize, putting them right in the current, and just letting them just letting them sit there. After Mark saw me twitching the rod tip a couple times, he said, "Man, I see you twitching that thing. You ain't gonna get a hit." And sure enough, I stopped it. And. Uh, this way, Leon. I stopped, I stopped swimming, I stopped swimming the lure, and sure enough, bam! And then what's neat, this is the same rig, same rigs I use in the Indian River for, uh, for redfish, trout, snook. Ooh. There he goes, jumping, jumping, jump, jump. Come on, baby. There he is. Nice! <laughs> yeah, baby! Woo. Ain't they pretty when they jump? Let's see you do it again there, brother. Well, here comes Mark back, back with our boat, so I'm gonna go jump back up on the Ranger. My Ranger. Usually Leon's Ranger here for a while, but... Man, what a fish. He's coming right on, he's right under you, Mark. I know. Just hang on. I'm out of gear. You all right? Time to get back up on. That was a good, that was a good one there, Mark. <laughs> hey, Leon. Glad you're here, brother. <laughs> All right. You want to fight him from a dead boat, or you want me to go after him? Uh, we can get him from a dead boat here for a while. Nice fish. Nice fish. Just gonna give him a little pressure here. Oh yeah, come on, come to daddy. There he is, jump, jump, jump. 80. Oh, well, maybe a little bigger. Hello, baby. Cool beans, kids. You gotta like it when they do that. Ah, there he is. Now I feel good. <laughs> now I feel good. <laughs> he almost throws me in the water. High fives me right in there with a the fish. That's what you call bulldogging, brother. He's about getting ready, Mark, I think. I've done most of the work today, so it's about time. You know, you got a little bit of something done. Yeah. And now I'm going to have to land this fish. I had to get the anchor line off the motor while you guys are out there having fun. There's some color. I'm hanging out over the prop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. doing good though, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Come on, baby. Right. A lot of people like to like to run all the way around the boat just because the fish went under the boat. If you're in deep enough water and he's not jumping, you can stay right in the same spot. Look at that. Just don't, uh, all you gotta do is just fight them upside down. A lot of time they'll let their line rub against the boat. That's bad news. Go ahead and put your right tip underwater and just... Fight them upside like, down. Yep, upside down. Get that, don't let the line touch the hull, period. There he is, right there. Get him up here. I'm trying. I'm on the you watch, you know, I'm hungry. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Man, he likes hanging out underneath the bottom of this ranger, don't he? <laughs>
Blair. Yeah. It feels safe. Blair. Yes, it's sir. Lunch time. It's lunch time. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Come here, oh. you. Oh, man. Get over here. Come on, baby. Come on over here. Oh. Fish got a little weight to him, sir. I got leader in the eyes. He's a catch now. Come here, you. Come on now. You want me to grab that leader? This jaw is too big for this. Oh. I can't get this bogo over its mouth. Uh, let's just see if we can grab him, Mark. Yeah, it's too big for a 30 pound bogo. Too big for a 30 pound bogo grip. Uh, the terror eyes out. Let me see your pliers if I could. Never mind, I got it. Good job. Uh, tar pudding, brother. A big male. You want to know how I can tell it's a male? Look at my foot. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's start the boat. Get him going a bit. Yep. Yeah, he must have hit the piling. Scales coming off. Oops, all right. Get the boat moving a little bit with him. That Cape Fear put a hurting on him. Good job. Come on, big dude. Get us moving a tad faster. He's starting to kick now. There he goes. 70? Yeah. That's about what it is. 70 pounds topping! Woo! A little terrorized. Life is good. On a little bitty terrorized. That's a beautiful fish. Hey, right, on three, bro. Hang on. Slow down a minute. I think she's ready. She's biting, on, or he's biting on me. Come on, kick off, brother. There he goes. See ya. Whew. Mark, <laughs> what, an, what an easy way to catch tarpon. Is that cool or what? What a simple way to catch tarpon. If y'all ever get the chance to come and do this, it is simple. Big dog, what do you call him? Brown dog terrorized. <laughs> <laughs> Three or, ice ounce head, generally speaking. Three ounce down head. here and just let it sit in the current. It's that simple. We'll see y'all next week. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. Got the outing coming up June 28th. Y'all don't forget about it. It'll be fun down in Stewart. We'll see y'all next week. I'll feed her saying. Now that is addictive. Right through the tunnel. What? What? Hey, y'all. Hey, Mark, I'm sweating just watching you. <laughs> Don't go back under that bridge. Fish on. Fish on, brother. He was walking. He was walking. Coming up. Nice, baby. I told you this was drag, screaming, rocking, and all that stuff, actually.